How long have you been YouTuber? Uh, about a year now. Yeah? Yeah. It's going well or? It's going good, it's going good. New Zealand and sick back. What's that? He's New Zealand and sick back. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Can you just tell me about, you know, who is Chad Mills? Uh, top, top Chad Mills, um, ex-fat kid, it's changed his, it's turned his life around. But, uh, I was real fat when I was 15, um, I didn't play any sports, I played computer games, probably like a full-time job, you know, eight hours a day kind of thing, give or take. Uh, World of Warcraft, uh, card games, Counter-Strike, the works, the works. Um, yeah, and then used to walk past um, the old north side down Woodside Ave. And um, actually, I used to walk past and see Robert Berridge, the butcher, outside all day. And he was, he was, you know, muscly dude in shape. Looked pretty cool, looked pretty staunch. I was like, yeah, that, that'd be pretty cool to be like that guy one day. And all my mates wanted to box as well, so they were like, oh, we want to go in. And I was like, oh, it doesn't sound like my thing, but they convinced me and dragged me along. I absolutely hated every minute of it. I don't run. I didn't. I didn't run. I didn't do exercise. I didn't like sweating. And I kept coming back out of somewhat fear. I sparred the second day. Okay. I sparred the second day I was there, and I got, I got beat up. I got beat up. Um, yeah. I, I asked myself again, why am I, why am I here? But now I keep going. Keep going. Nick, Nick the Greek gave me, gave me a hiding as well at, at one point, probably, I don't know, after a month of being there, I sparred him, got a hiding. But, um, I was still a little paid off in the end. Because most people, what they do is they start training like boxers, you know what I mean? Like they, they do the cardio, but they don't like to actually go into the ring, they don't like to get hit. Oh. But you were second day. P Peter Derek checks in the deep end. Jesus. <laughs> but hey. Uh, what, what do you call it? What's, what's it saying? Baptism of fire? There you go. Find out pretty quickly what you made of. So did you ever know that you were going to be at this point, like, you know, traveling uh, no. across oh, the I world? I never, ever, ever would have imagined it. I, I thought, maybe, you know, maybe I have a couple of fights and hopefully win them and then... But, no, nah, still here. And when did you start to get a passion for it, you know what I mean? Like, when did you... Um, you realize, you know what, I think I'm good at this. Boxing. Maybe the second year I started boxing. Maybe, the, yeah, the second year of boxing I started to actually enjoy it. And when did you know you could do it competitively? And Peter told me after about five months. <laughs> who's, who's this Peter guy? Uh, uh, he, he's the oh, the coach I started with, a few of us actually started boxing with him. Uh, me, Nick the Greek, Robbie Burge, David Light, uh, to name a few. We started there, we all started at that gym. It's time and all sort of branched off, but yeah. Can you tell me about you? Uh, hello, man, my name is Patrick. Um, I come from South Auckland. I've been here with Harry now just over, a, just a bit over a year. I started out in Mangry Bridge, shifted to train with Joseph at Peptoi, and then went to uh, Boxing Yard, and now I'm here. Yeah, I've started boxing four years ago. After my first year, I started traveling with uh, my good mate here, Chad. Oh, wait, so uh, again, what got you into boxing? Uh, a knee injury. I used to play rugby for school for the first 15 and then busted my knee. Um, I, had to, I had to find another um, sport. Otherwise, because the uh, doctor said if it doesn't heal right within six months, there's no chance of me running properly. Or, in every place, so I started training here. I went to I went to find a boxing gym, and I started there. And I kind of liked the idea of being independent. independent so I stuck, I stuck, I stuck with it. Okay. Do you guys box in like corporate events or like uh, professional events or nah, just we're amateurs we're, right we're now? Amateurs, just amateur events. Basically, we like, okay. don't really get paid to fight. 
the, the best thing close to money that we do get is, is medals okay. and qualifying for next tournaments. So it's and it's, it's it's more fun, I guess, in the way that it's, it's good competition. You're always in for, for good competition, and, and plus the, the matches ain't all fixed up, you know. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what you say on there, mate. This is camera. We're gonna have to cut that out. This Olympics have changed the qualification criteria and they've merged Oceania with Asia. So, uh, yeah, we've got to qualify for the Asian circuit now, the Asian continent. Which is a lot harder, but. So, how did you do in those in those events? Uh, I can uh, see in your shirt it says Glasgow. Uh, in Glasgow, yeah. I boxed I boxed Bangladesh in my first bout, beat Bangladesh. And then I boxed Namibia, beat Namibia, and then I lost to uh, Great Britain. Oh, no, Wales, Welshman, Joe okay. Colina. Did you fight in Glasgow as well? Yeah, or? Glasgow was actually by far my worst performance. Okay. So, um, was that your first time? Yeah. Step? Okay. I, I, I lost my first in the first bout to the Aussie. Okay. And, um, yeah, it wasn't. I learned a lot uh, mentally from from that experience, but in terms of performance, now I don't think. So now, what's the aim now? So what's 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 in the future for you guys? Uh, so Asian Championships is a qualifier, the first qualifier. Well, it's not the first. The first one of the year to, to get to Rio. So we got to. I got to get there and get top three. Um, and then, however I go there, hopefully I qualify. Uh, there's another tournament in June in Azerbaijan. So I got five spots to qualify there. So those are the two events I'm aiming at at the moment. Let's try to get to Rio. And that's the goal right now. Put it on the condition where your foot stays in. Make sure your hands are up. What motivates you there? Uh, I just love boxing, what else would I be doing? I would have wasted all my time if I didn't keep going. Uh, no, I enjoy it. Uh, it gives me an identity. I mean, besides that, I'm, I'm, I, don't really, I don't really do much else. I don't just play a few games, it's, it's nothing really. Um, yeah, it gives me a bit of identity. And I've always wanted to sort of you know, prove to myself that I, I can do it. Um, yeah, I just love boxing. It's, a, it's a, a sweet science. It's indeed sweet. And they call you the the most scientific boxer? Oh, well, yeah. I, got, I got that in, what, 2013? <laughs> I, I got the Jameson belt. Um, other people have got that since, since but, you know, I, yeah, I've, I've had that on it before. You can check the belt. It's got my name on it. So, have you improved from then? Like, uh... um, I definitely think I've improved since then, yeah, yeah. Uh, since 2013. 2013 was a big learning year for me. Um, had a bout against the Russian, I was the Russian number two from China, and I lost him. It was my first bout. He went on to get gold. I lost him by split decision. But um, in that bout, I, I learned a lot of things. Like I boxed him. I, I got to feel like the intelligence that that guy had. And then when I watched the video, I started to pick up a lot of things and analyzed it, and started to see how sort of get some formulas in my head that kind of started to work. I just started to see, you know, the nitty gritty of boxing. And then from then, I sort of built on those and. I don't think I've improved. <laughs> so, I, I like to think so. So by the end of 2016, what would you have liked to achieve by then? Uh, always like to achieve an Olympic gold medal. That's, that's the aim, that's the goal. That's what we're going for. Um, it would be amazing to get to Rio, get that on my resume. I'd like to walk away from the sport saying I've, I've been you know, at the pinnacle of the sport. Um, but yeah, 
that's, that's what I want to achieve this year. So, uh, that's as far as I'm going. Who knows what I'll do after? Never thought that far. And yeah, can you just tell me what motivates you? You know, as, as we said, uh, zero funding. Like, like I said, you know, it's definitely a dream. I've given up a lot of other um, opportunities to be something else. To be here, you know, I could have gone on to study full time and become something else, or I could have gone on to play league or rugby. You know, I've, I've chosen, I've made it. It's a, it's a poor man's sport, eh? Like, there's, there's no money in it, amateur wise, especially in this country. Or, you know, it, it's a big dream to have, you know, you know I want it. Yeah, gotta say, you guys are inspiration, really. Oh, a dollar and a dream, really. Yeah, but cheers, cheers. as you corrected me later, it's no dollars, just dreams. Just, just, just dreams, right no dollar. dreams of no dollars.
Jack it off. Chad's just waiting for him to invent the eye glove. Yeah. Cool. The, uh, the oh. eye glove, yeah. So, <laughs> so he can do the bag and then of just course. go, oh yeah, my mates are, yeah. Just at the gym. Just <laughs> <laughs> chilling. What's it, bloody? Selfie stick I got, nothing on it. I mean, we're just going to have a bit here. Do the way, we're going to be like that. Caleb's like in half around you when you change head. I'm gonna patent this idea before you guys. So. What's that? I'm gonna patent it before you. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna publish James it. James is just gonna uh, a drone. Get drone. It to, yeah, get it to happen right here. What are you trying, bro? Hi guys. Uh, thanks for letting me into into your into your house. Oh, appreciate it. So um, all the best. And how can how can people follow you or support you? Uh, or? I'm on I'm on Instagram. Facebook, like my Facebook page, Chad Milne's athlete page. Give it a like. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at pet.mylata94. You can just add me on Facebook, Patrick Mylata. Cool. LT underscore Chester is my Instagram. LT underscore Chester. Something like that. C H A D S T A. Got it. Follow me, please. Chad Mega Head Milne. Is there any? Is there anywhere else they can support you at all? Um, Got to give a little page. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talk about that. Yeah, I got to give a little page. I'm, I'm, you know, take whatever donations I can to, to, to get me to to Rio. The other places I need to go to qualify. Um, it's on my, it'll be on my it's on my athlete and Facebook page. Yeah, please, any anything anything will do. I'll give it a hundred percent. And you are one of New Zealand's best boxers, right? I mean, uh, in yeah, the sixth. I, I, I like to think so. I'm yeah. currently Oceania champion. We've got three gold medals at the Oceanians, we've got three champs in one of them. Um, we've been ranked in number one in New Zealand for quite a while. Yeah, I like to think we're one of the winner ones. <laughs> it's big, big things in store for this young man, huh? Oh, look, that's it, mate, yeah. But, you know, you, you get what you put in. We'll see. Cool, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks for letting me in. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it, huh?